one time, two time for the cha-cha gang. Uh, give me the cha-cha gang. Rockin' with the best, the cha-cha gang. Uh, give me the cha-cha gang. Uh, I like it, I want cha-cha gang. Uh, give me the cha-cha gang. What you want for the cha-cha gang? It's amazing how what was supposed to be a one-time thing has now become a regular series. Yes, I'm talking about the Chacha EP compilation series, which was supposed to be a one-time episode. But you guys kept requesting for more EP reviews, and here I am with the Chacha EP compilation series volume 5. Today I'll be talking about four EPs from Buju, Ladipo, Sess, and Spirochi Beat. But before then, listen to this. From the crew podcast. This is where the fun begins. Can you hear? Cruise forget. Add us to your favorites. Add us to your favorites. Add us to your favorites. And keep your browser locked. Keep your browser locked. One way to reduce your blood pressure. Listen to the Veracity podcast. You didn't hear that, Jisoo. Who's down when my G's connect? No disconnect. Are they cat crews forget? Yes, that is the Veracity Podcast where you get to catch all the crews that you're supposed to catch. So do not forget to add that to your favorite. That being said, the first EP I'll be talking about today is coming from Ladipo. And this EP is titled Providence. The Six Track EP was released on the 4th of November 2021. And it features artists like Fireboy DML, Rema and Amare. Yes, I know you are surprised that there is no Buju on the EP, which means feeling is not also on the EP. The production credits goes to London. Ozedikos and Johnson IP. Unless you are living under a rock, you can't deny that Ladipo has had a fantastic 2021 and it only made sense that it dropped this body of work to round off the year. Providence is a good EP, but also not the best in terms of after effects. Do not get me wrong, every song of this EP is good, but that is all to it. No song is quite exceptional, or no song has that oh fuck that shit moment, you know? Though you can argue that Running with Features Fireboy and which was also, uh, you know, the only single that was released before the EP was dropped was is pretty dope. Fireboy and Ladipo did madness on that track, but then again, that is just one track out of six track. And yes, it did drop some slick bars on LOTR2, which is um, you know, leader of the revival too. Bars like pray the only shot I take is when I'm buying rounds. Even when the drip is heavy, it doesn't quench my thirst. Now, trust me, that is one of the sickest lines on that song. But I still feel like the EP is missing something. I feel the EP is too soft. Yes, Ladipo isn't one of those, uh, you know, gangster rappers. It makes rap sound so smooth and so clean. It makes sure that his beats are smooth and melodious so that we can calmly hear, you know, the story he's trying to paint. Maybe a little bit of hardness will have given the EP, you know, that wow moment but all in all, this is a decent EP, like I said. You will enjoy the EP regardless. The next EP I'll be talking about was released on the 27th of October by Buju, and it is titled Sorry I Am Late. And just like the title, I am sorry that it took me this long to review the EP. By the way, shout out to Pablo Kito. You requested that I review this, and I hope I'm not going to disappoint you with my review. I have to be honest, when I saw the track list of this EP and it didn't have any singles that Buju has dropped during the year, I said to myself, Buju must be really confident and after listening to the EP I said to myself Buju is really confident the seven track EP which features only the cavemen had production from Timmy J, Rexy, Danzel, Steph and Prowse. The EP kicks off with a song titled Daniel Benson which also happens to be Buju's real name. This is a good way to kick off the EP as Buju used this to introduce himself and what the EP has to offer and from there the EP took off from there. To be honest this EP had no bad song but at the same time it doesn't have that extraordinary feel. Do you get? There was nothing you know that you can say ah! Oh, damn shit! Nah, he didn't really have all of that. But I have to say this songs like Obechuku stand out because of the caveman uh you know element and it also shows how diversified you know Buju can be with his sound, which is one thing I also like about this EP. Another thing I like about the EP is Buju's lyrical ability, which for me I feel like this is what this EP is all about. His songwriting ability was what he displayed more on this EP with songs like Never Stop, I Do, and Kilometer, which I feel has the potential to become a monster hit of this EP. 
DP. Rexy really came through on the production of that song. In as much as Budo didn't, you know, stick to that regular pop vibe that we have come to love him for, he didn't also go outside, you know, his comfort zone per se. This is an EP that many might find out to, you know, relate to it because this isn't what a lot of people would have expected from Buju. But one thing that is certain is that if you can do away with the expectation and just listen to this EP, you would definitely like the EP. And just maybe you might appreciate, you know, the writing ability of Buju more. Like I said, this is a decent EP, so make sure you check it out and tell me what you feel. 30 BG in house producer talking about Spiroji or Spiroji beat drops this EP titled Melodies Volume 1 and it features the likes of Fireboy DML, Davido, Peruzi, Mayokun, Oslade, Dako, How to Bees, and BOG. To be honest, whenever a music producer puts out a body of work, I am more critical about their work because I believe as a producer, it should be dope. Not just good, but pretty good. And this EP is just good. As a matter of fact, most of the song sounds like every normal Spirochi produced song. Spirochi didn't really have much to offer on this EP. It's an EP that you probably listen to once, pick out your favorite songs and you know not go back to it. Some favorite songs on the EP include Melody which features Fireboy, Ready which features Daco and also Doomy which features Oslade. Now on the song which features David which is started year year is an example of what I mean by Spirochi didn't really have much to offer. Imagine Spirochi is still sampling that David's Aye, guitar string. You know that song. Aye, she no one designer. Hey, that you know guitar string that was put in that song. Imagine Spirochi still sampling that in this century. I mean, sorry, in this year. But then again, that's an example of what I mean by Spirochi didn't really have much to offer on ECP. All in all, this is an average EP for Spirochi. Nothing too exciting about it. The last EP for today is coming from another producer, and his name is Cess, aka the Problem Kid. This EP is tied to spot light and it was released on the 3rd of november and it features artists like simi psycho yp tenny files adequately good and yemi Alade. now this is how a producer should drop a body of work from the intro of this ep says got us locked in and to the end of the ep he made sure that he kept us on the lock everything about this ep is dope from the production which was mostly done by sales himself and also fuse and um frank Kesmo, the featured asset also came through most especially Yemi Alade on that song titled Beautiful. Like, I didn't even know Yemi Alade had the ability, you know, to go all out like that on that song. Forget that song is a sweet jam. Both Yemi Alade and Sess killed that song. That's my favorite song on the EP and definitely one of the best songs on the EP. Alongside International Love, which features Adekunle Good. Adekunle Good once again continue to have, you know, the best year ever. Like I said, Sess understood his assignment on this EP and he really and totally killed it. And this EP is an EP that you should definitely add to your playlist. This is a pretty dope EP. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and members of the Chacha Nation, that is where I will be drawing the curtain on today's episode of the Chacha EP compilation series. To hear my voice again, my name remains Afis Donova, aka your musical plug, creator of the Energy Force. Peace out. Give me the cha-cha gang, cha-cha gang What's in my go?